Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm just going to give you a quick update on what's going on with my uh, transition from my cool season garden uh, over to my uh, summer garden. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I planted my uh, tomatoes and some of my peppers, cucumbers, uh, some beans uh, that have come up. Um, I also, within the last couple weeks, planted all of these dahlias uh, wrapping completely around the uh, vegetable garden. This is a couple that come back from last year. They're actually budded up, ready to bloom. Uh, also in this area, I've got parsley and rosemary and oregano and uh, some fennel, a uh, few things actually for pollinators, uh, uh, to, you know, for caterpillars. Uh, that would be the uh, fennel and the parsley. I've also got some uh, butterfly weed in the garden as well. So host plants uh, for caterpillars. I've left a little bit of the lettuce uh, in here uh, if you follow my channel, you know that when I have the cool season vegetables in here, I actually, I put a, a hoop, a, a couple hoops that I bent from a chain link fence uh, over the top of it right here and just a straight bar across the top. And that allows me to wrap this area in a, what is actually a seven foot tall plastic deer fence, but it, uh, uh, it works well for rabbits and of course when i have the lettuce in here the rabbits are going to be you know this is what they this is what they want the broccoli kohlrabi there's nothing in the winter garden that the rabbits won't come after when the grasses you know in the little field next to me aren't growing so um i pulled out so i so i harvested the kohlrabi that i had remaining the beets that i had remaining the broccoli that i had uh in this space and uh, a little bit of Swiss chard, some of, some, of the, uh, some of the lettuce and some of the older things that I had in here that I had to come out. I've still left, I've left some of the leaf lettuce in place uh, and uh, I've, ran, I've, I've just taken the tomatoes and, and started to uh, run them through the cattle panels here so that uh, they can get started being trained uh, to grow up through the cattle panels. And then I fertilized uh, this space with flower tone. I'm gonna fertilize I put up a video, uh, I don't know, two months ago called fertilizing time or something. I don't know what I called it, but I fertilized all my shrubs and trees then. Since that time, I've planted a ton of flowering things uh, and containers and other things that have not yet been fertilized. And so this was the beginning of that fertiliz fertilizing. And I fertilized this with flower tone, uh, the vegetables and the, uh, and the flowering things that are in this space. This spot right here, which doesn't look like much now, is going to be off the chains in about four, five, six weeks. Um, let me give you a little close up of a couple things and I'll show you these hibiscus that I have on the other side of the fence, which are gonna hide this entire fence uh, probably within about a month. On the outside of the ugly chain link fence that I'll eventually replace, their hibiscus are planted all the way down. I put those bricks in front of it just in case somebody comes down here with a mower or something. I don't want them to get my hibiscus, but uh, they'll come up over the top of this fence and it will happen. Uh, really quickly. I'm still working on uh, potatoes in the grow bags here. I just fertilized those uh, as well. I don't give them a whole lot of fertilizer. The uh, compost that I'm growing them in is pretty adequate uh, for that. Dahlias have really taken off. I've had some cool nights. I mean, cooler than dahlias would really want, um, but they're doing okay. They're growing, and I think a couple are uh, butted up over here. I still have a ton of flowering things to go in the ground. Uh, before I get um, before I get complete here uh, in the next couple weeks, but again, there's there's one from the I did a uh, video called Dahlia Jumpstart or something like that uh, a couple of months back. Uh, the, these are the ones from that. Uh, as you transition, this is one that came back from last year. Um, oregano, a uh, uh, thyme, parsley, uh, lots of edible things in here. This is a couple of the uh, dahlias that came back uh, from last year that are about to open up. All the dahlias on this side are ones that I did from seed. And they are um, ones I did from some seed I get from Johnny's seed. They're mostly singles uh, flowers and the uh, pollinators absolutely, absolutely love them. I uh, just planted this rosemary here uh, on the corner as well. Uh, peppers got planted uh, a couple weeks ago and uh, you know they're doing okay. Uh, the, the cool nights have not been uh, the peppers friends. They, they would definitely uh, prefer it quite a bit warmer. Again, I'm leaving the uh, lettuce here for another week or two so I can continue to, uh, to eat on this for a while. And then uh, coming this way, the uh, tomatoes, I started to, uh, uh, starting to work those into the, uh, into the cattle panels here. 
uh, in that vegetable planting video. I planted cucumbers, which have come up there, beans, which have come up there. But um, again, we've had nights in the 30s and just kind of crazy cold, some kind of crazy cold nights, and uh, things have not taken off yet. But here we are, um, mid May, and I think that uh, this next week we've got days in the uh, upper 80s and so that's why i'm kicking this fertilizer in on these dahlias right now uh, to get them going so thank you guys for following along with the channel um, don't forget to subscribe um, and uh, hit that little bell notification so you're alerted when i upload a video now, this space again which doesn't look like a whole lot now is going to be just uh, wildly colorful uh, in, in about a month that empty space in the vegetable garden is about to be uh, some more cucumbers as well so again thanks for watching